Hi folks, this is Todd with Survival Sherpa. Um, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube and uh, made any videos, uh, so I thought I'd come out today to my shelter and, and uh, do a little burn and scrape uh, to make a, a container for the, for the folks who uh, keep up with me on YouTube and, and uh, my blog and, and other social media. Um, you may have seen that my, my brother uh, was tragically killed in a motorcycle accident April the 1st. And um, so we've, we've been reeling, our family has, and, uh, but, but we have, we have uh, really appreciated all the prayers and support and the thoughts um, and the tangible things that our family and friends have done for us. Um, so anyway, but my brother would not be very pleased with me if I didn't get back out here in the woods and do some stuff. So I thought we would do something, something I've never done before. And uh, in honor of my brother Craig, I'm wearing, um, I'm wearing his uh, do rag that he left at my house um, one day when he rode up on his bike. And uh, I've had it for four or five years. Never told him I had it. I just kept it. It's kind of what brothers do. And um, but I wanted to uh, to wear it today in honor of my brother and to uh, keep the sweat under my eyes. It's practical, plus it's uh, very sentimental to me. So, so basically all we're gonna use is, uh, we'll, I, don't, I don't know, I guess we'll use a uh, little spoon knife I've got here. Possibly use that, and a little carving knife. A um, little, little more carving knife. Just got this over at Scott Jones uh, Workshop in the woods, uh, doing, doing uh, the primitive pottery class. So. So we've got two cutting tools there that we'll use. Also, this was uh, just a piece of river cane, which is, uh, we actually used it at the uh, pottery class. Watching the pottery dry, we, we made some burning scrape spoons. So it's just a tube. Now, if you harvest your river cane, um, run a piece of straw or uh, grass, something through the center of it to clean out the, it's not really, I, it's, I guess it is a pith, but it's uh, some kind of fluffy pith that's in there. So you can run that, run that, uh, uh, just a piece of straw or whatever you can find to, strong enough to get through there and it will pull right out. And uh, makes a good straw for, for uh, burning. So we're gonna use that. Um, we'll pull off a, uh, a piece of coal here and uh, go ahead and get started. See if that one works better. Yeah, this one right here is uh, hot all the way around, so it's going to burn better. wood that I've got burning today is a little bit of poplar and um, old cherry uh, that you may have seen me sawing on over there on that saw buck I, I built the other day. So it's on fire. I'm gonna blow that out. So just uh, if you're burning something this big, it's, you're not really worried too much about it burning through. If you were doing a spoon, a thin spoon, 
uh, you'd have to be careful with that. But um, for this application, on this big log, I've got a lot of burning to do, so I'm not too, too concerned about care, taking care not to burn through. Um, all right, so first, first little burn here, I'm gonna drop my coal right here on my stump and uh, I am going to scrape with a rock. I'm gonna go get, I I'm, might as well do it, right? So I'm going to find a rock and uh, we'll scrape that up. All right, so I just broke off a piece from, uh, from this stone here with a larger hammer stone and it came off pretty decently. This is just a piece of quartz and um, we're gonna go ahead and scrape this bowl. It's got good, good, uh, good curves here to get down in here where the burn is and do some scraping. So it came off pretty good. So that's the first burn. As you can see, it's about a quarter inch deep. And this poplar is very, uh, very dry. So it shouldn't take that long to do that. I'm gonna um, stop the camera now and do some more burning, try and get, the, try and get it closer to the edge. And then uh, I'll get back with you in a minute and show you what's going on. Okay guys, we're, we're down about a good inch into the uh, log. So this is just kind of what we're doing. The problem here is this, this poplar is so dry that um, <laughs> my edges are burning off. I mean, it's just, it's totally, it's totally dry to the point of, I mean, it's not rotten, but it's, it's, it's so dry that it's, um, I started in about a quarter inch around the rim and it's just gets so hot it burns the, uh, the edges out, as you can see. Just a good steady stream coming out of the, the uh, reed here will do it. Hoping you can see the way it's burning. Looks kind of like a volcano, an inverted volcano. If you plan on doing this with a spoon knife or some other knife that you care about, um, I'm afraid that you would, if you started carving out on this hot wood, you're, you're liable to run the temper on your blade. So that's why I'm going with a, uh, a primitive tool, just a shard off of uh, off a piece of quartz over there all right so this is what we've got so far it's not uh, not there yet but we're just gonna keep burning hollowing this out and um, what I'm trying to do now is just go deeper this way instead of out and uh, see if we can't make a little container out of it so hopefully you can see how far we've gotten here. It's, uh, it's about that deep so far, two knuckles in. All right guys, I'm doing, <clears throat> doing my last burn on this cup. Uh, it's kind of rough, but it's gonna be a cup. Smoky job. That's my last burn. What I've been doing for scraping is uh, this piece of quartz here, a couple of more pieces there, but it's gotten deep enough now that I've just been using, uh, this is just a piece of poplar that I've poked my fire with. Um, 
so I'm just taking it now and it does pretty good. It's kind of like a, a blunt spatula and it does a pretty good job of reaching down and getting getting to the bottom of the bowl here. What I'll do is uh, when I get this back to the house, I'll take it and um, do a little polishing inside. Of course, with a river stone down there, we could a smooth river stone we can take and um, polish the inside, uh, just kind of burnish it out and uh, smooth it out a bit. But this uh, this cup is for my brother in uh, memory of him. And um, so it's real rough around the edges, <laughs> just like him. Real rough around the edges. Um, but it'll hold some good stuff. It's going to be full of real good stuff here in a little bit. Um, just like he was. So, guys, I appreciate you tuning in today. And um, that's it for me uh, for a while. Uh, Dirt Road Girl and I are going to be taking a, uh, a little time off. To, uh, to just hang out so um, but that's how we do it burning and scraping to make containers so let me show you this one more time before I sign off inside here if you can see that hopefully you can it's kind of a uh, well this is how deep it is on the deepest part so that's enough for a cup of coffee in the morning so, uh, the next thing I wanted to do to this was carve 91 in the side. 91 is significant because that was his jersey number when he played football at Georgia Southern University um, back in the 80s. Uh, so, anyway, wanted to uh, do that and then we will uh, we'll call it good. So guys, you, you guys, uh, I really do appreciate all your support through this rough time, and um, I appreciate you watching. And um, I'll go ahead and carve this up and and um, get it finished and oiled. I'll put some walnut oil in there once I get it burnished up, and um, we'll use it. Um, so again, guys, thanks for watching, and keep doing the stuff for Self Reliance.